Hello Pilates and yoga lovers, welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This is our fifth day, and today is going to be Beginner's Pilates Sideline Position. And if this is your first time, go back to me day one so you can do this safely and effectively. So join me and Mr. Abel on this lovely Beginner's Phase 1 28-Day Workout Challenge. We'll start on your side. Start left or right, whichever is more comfortable for you. And even in side line, you can engage your core muscles. So let's warm up our core by taking a deep breath through your nose. Belly button in, squeeze your stomach, and blow through your mouth. Two more breaths. Take a deep breath. Belly button in, and blow. Feel the core being engaged. Inhale. Belly button in, and blow. So now we start with lifting your leg up as high as you can. If you, if all you can do is in this position, that's fine. So this is beginners. If you can go up higher, that's great. And then we're gonna do leg circles, toes pointing you, and small circle, feeling your core engage. Take a deep breath. One small circle, like a size of a small dish. Keep your breathing and blow your head straight, engaging your core, try not to rock your head. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. Now we'll do reverse. Counterclockwise. Deep breath, belly button in and blow. We'll do 10 times 5, 4, still pointing towards me. 2, 1, and blow. And then you can stretch out a little bit, hold it there for 5, 4, Three, two, one, and now we're gonna do heel slide. Place your hand on your hip area, bend your knee, touch your shin area, and slide down and blow with your breath. So take a deep breath through your nose and lift up as high as you can. Bend, belly button in, and blow. We'll do this 10 times, beginners. Take a deep breath up, belly button in, bend. Slide your heel on your shin and blow. Seven more to go up. Toes pointing you. Bend, belly button in and blow. And slide. Four. Bend and down blow. Halfway to go. Take a deep breath. Belly button in and blow. Six. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your buttocks. Seven. Take a deep breath. Belly button in. Eight. Two. So you're going to go up gently. Nine. You feel your hip muscles working hard. Last one and ten. And from this position, we're going to do a little bit bigger circles without rocking your hips clockwise five times only. Four for beginners. Three. Feel the burn. Two. One, and then let's do reverse. Five, take a deep breath. Engage your core, keep breathing, hand blow. Two, and one. And now we'll do reverse heel slide. So you slide first this time. Kick up and down. So you take a deep breath, slide. Kick up with your knee straight as much as you can. If your knees buckle, that's fine. And down blow. One breath, one motion. Take a deep breath, lift, kick up, and down. So we're doing reverse, we'll do this 10 times. So slide your heel on your shin, kick up and down. Slide, take a deep breath, kick up and down blow. Inhale, belly button in and blow. We're gonna do seven, take a deep breath, kick up and down blow. Eight, inhale, 
belly button in and blow. Nine. Last one. And blow. Ten. Feel the bird. And now we're going to do some clam shells. You're going to bend your knees. Feet together, knees together, and slowly open your left knee up or right, whichever position you are right now, as much as you can without twisting your spine outward. You want to make sure you're still in side lying position, head straight. And down. We'll do this 10 times. So open, rest your neck safely on your shoulders, and blow. Take a deep breath, belly button in, squeeze as hard as you can, and blow. Four, we do. Belly button in, squeeze your glutes, and back center, and blow. Six, and blow. Belly button in, seven, and blow. Nine, and blow. Last one, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and blow. So we're targeting your glutes with use. And now we're gonna lift both feet up off the mat, knees together, feet together. If this is too difficult, then keep your feet down because this is the next progression. And now we're gonna open your knee open. Take a deep breath and close blow. Belly button in, engage your core. Feel the burn in your glutes, medius. Inhale. Belly button in and blow. This will help support low back pain if you have one-sided back pain. Take a deep breath. Belly button in. Squeeze as hard as you can and blow. Inhale. Belly button in and blow. Inhale and blow. Three more to go. Two. Last one, we're gonna hold it for five seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and down. Blue. So now we're going to our elbow. I'm still gonna do clam shell. So from this position, this is a little bit easier. Open and close. Feel this lovely opening of your hips. You'll do this 10 times with your breathing. Inhale and belly button and close. Halfway to go, inhale, only stretch, three, two, last one, and blow. And now we're going to progress with side plank, so you can lift your hip off the mat. If this is too difficult, you can continue just lying on your hips still down and then a clamshell. So from this position, we're going to clamshell, ten, Nine with your breaths and blow. Eight. One breath, one motion. Seven, six, five. You might feel your shoulder. Make sure it's level with your elbow so you're not going to strain your shoulder. Two. Last one. And hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And down blow. Now we're going to do reverse clamshell. So from this position, you're going to lift just your foot up, level with your hip area and down. So we're targeting your glutes with you. Take a deep breath and blow. Belly button in and blow. Take a deep breath, lift and blow. Belly. Everything is on your side today. So it's a beautiful workout. Target your hip muscles. And blow. Last one. I'm gonna hold it for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and blow. Now we're gonna lift your foot up with your knee straight, still leveled with your shoulder, not the high, just straight. And from this position, we're gonna do small circles. Ten, clockwise first. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and now slowly kick forward. Belly button in without 
keeping your back straight without hunching forward and then back to the center to the starting point so forward to 45 degrees and back take a deep breath forward we'll do this 10 times belly button in using your hip flexors and blow so it's a lot of over here you're gonna feel it in the front of your hip take a deep breath belly button in and blow four more to go take a deep breath feel the love to stretch three two and last one and hold it for five four three two one and from this position we're going to do slow range of motion up and down like five inches up and down ten times ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and now further to 90 degrees bend your knee so from this position we're going to stretch your it band you can feel the burn here and slowly lengthen toes point to you and then bend we'll do this 10 times so take a deep breath kick up toes pointing you and back to the 90 degree simple kick and back Belly button in, pull, and blow. Inhale, extend, and then back to bend. Kick, feel the burn. Halfway to go, you're almost there. It's getting tiring. So make sure you're not straining your back muscles. Two more. Last one, and feel the lengthening of your legs, and down blow. Whew. And now we're going to lie on your back. And then we did the day one beginners tabletop single. Take a deep breath, 90 degrees. Belly button in and blow. So we're going to transition now to the other side of your hip. So it's nice to lie on your back first. Take a deep breath, tabletop on your right. Belly button in and blow. We'll just do five repetitions on each leg and blow right side take a deep breath belly button in and blow left side inhale bend 90 degrees and blow one breath one motion last one take a deep breath belly button in and blow left side inhale belly button in and blow now we're gonna do tabletop with hip abduction which is lowering your hip to the side without twisting your hips and back to the center and blow left side take a deep breath open back to the center inhale and down blow we can also progress with overhead with your hands like this and tabletop take a deep breath to the side without twisting your hips back to the center and blow left side inhale Belly button in, open, back to the center, and blow. Two more to go, inhale, open, back to the center, and blow. Inhale on your left, tabletop, abduction, center, and blow. Last set, right side, tabletop, open, bend, and blow. Last one on your left, take a deep breath open bend and blow now we're going to the other side so you're gonna go up switch position to target your right hip and now we're gonna lift your leg up toes pointing you and small circle keeping your knee straight if you can't have it straight that's fine clockwise hand on your hip for stability for beginners you can also hold the mat for support Inhale and blow. Belly button in and blow. Now let's do reverse. Small circle like the size of small dish. Inhale, belly button in and blow. Take a deep breath. Belly button in, squeeze as hard as you can. And blow. Two, one, and then pull it up to stretch for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one and now we'll do reverse heel slide so i'm gonna bend your knee and then slide it on your shin area and blow so you go up first 
lift, bend, and slide. And we'll belly button in without twisting your hip or, or your spine. And we'll take a deep breath up, belly button in, and down blow. We'll do 10 times on this leg as well. Take a deep breath, lift, belly button in, and down. Two more to go, take a deep breath. Last one, and now we'll do reverse. So you go slide first and lift. Belly button in, take a deep breath and up and down. You might feel some clicking in your hips. As long as there's no pain, that's fine. It's just your ligaments and tendons are just rubbing together because of tightness. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. Two more to go, slide, kick up and down. Last one, you take a deep breath, kick up and down. And now we're gonna bend your knee, we're gonna do clamshell. So you're gonna open your knee, keeping your feet together, keeping your spine aligned, open as much as you can. If you're starting twisting back, stop. It's not about how much you can open your hip, it's about quality. So keeping your back stable, like head, on your shoulder, resting and open. Take a deep breath. Still engaging with your core and your breath and blow. Inhale, belly button in and blow. Take a deep breath and blow. Belly button in and blow. We'll do 10 times. Halfway to go. Feel that lovely stretch and blow. Three two, last one, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and now we're gonna progress, feet up, and open, 10, nine, keep breathing, eight, seven, six, feel the burn, four, three, two, one and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now we'll do on your elbow, so this is a little bit easier. 10 times, nine. Inhale, belly button in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna progress with hip off the mat. If you can't do this, that's fine. Continue with this. Just keep your hip on the mat. And if you can challenge yourself, you can join me. We'll do this 10 times. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And now we're gonna do reverse clamshell knees and feet together and then you lift the foot up and back 10 times nine eight seven six five four three two one and hold it for five four three two one and down keep your knees straight head down Lift your foot off the mat for a few inches, only maybe a foot. And now we're gonna do circle, small circle clockwise without rocking your hips, keeping everything stable with your breath, pulling your belly button in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and now we're gonna slide slightly, go 45 degree angle. And from this position, we're gonna do small range. 10, nine, up and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, feel the burn in your IT band, two, one, and now we're gonna slowly go 90 degrees. And from this position, you're gonna bend and kick. You can position yourself properly, 90, bend and kick. Belly button in with your breaths. Inhale and blow. 
Feel the burn and stretching of your IT band and hamstrings. Halfway to go, bend and kick. Four, three, keeping your toes pointing you. Two, last one, and down go. Now we're gonna lie on your back. And this time, we're gonna slowly progress. Hands overhead and do a bridging. And from this bridging position, you're gonna lift your hands off the mat, pointing to the ceiling, and slowly open for a butterfly position while in bridging position. Take a deep breath, back to the center, and go. We'll do this 10 times, still keeping elevated off the mat, open and close with your breaths. So inhale, open, and blow. Belly button in as high as you can. Five, four, three, two, last one, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly overhead and blow. Now we're gonna cool down now with some stretching. Knee to chest to stretch your buttocks and blow. You guys did amazing for our day five. For beginners Pilates, we added more repetitions and stretching. And we focus on your hip abductors lying on your side. So tomorrow is of our beginners and we'll be doing a lot of core engagement. Still beginners and easy for those who are just starting to strengthen your core muscles. And this time, bend your knee to your chest and lengthen your right knee down to further stretch your glutes muscles with your breaths and blow. Now pull your knee out to stretch your hip groin area. Take a deep breath and blow. And then fast midline, feel the stretch. You work hard on these muscles. And let's hold this. Take a deep breath. Still belly button in, engage your core muscles and blow. And now let's go to the right side. Knee to chest, lengthen your left knee down. Hold it with your breath, inhale and blow open. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow past midline with your breathing. Inhale and blow. And this time, you're going to cross over your foot on your right knee area. And then we're going to slowly stretch your hip and your spine. Open your head out and feel this lovely stretch. You work hard on this area on your side today, all the way to your rib cage area and your quadratus lumborum. Open, take a deep breath, and then slowly Turn your head to the right to further stretch your chest muscles. Inhale and blow. And now, cross over your right leg. Slowly twist, hands out to the side. And now slowly turn your head to the left. Feel the stretch in your shoulder muscles. Take a deep breath, belly button in, and blow. Now let's do the piriformis muscle, figure four. Put press, push, put the pressure on your knee. Feel that lovely stretch in your hip area, all the way to your buttock. And then slowly hug your knees to your chest in figure four. Take a deep breath, belly button in and blow. And then down, let's go to the other side, figure four, open. Inhale, belly button in, and blow. And then hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep breath. Belly button in, and blow. Both legs up. Feel the long stretch in your hamstrings. And back. Pull as much as you can to stretch your low back area. And blow. Last one. Hold it for five, four, three, two. One, and that's it. I'm hoping you're feeling stronger and healthier each day that we do this 28-day challenge. I'm glad you came and joined me today. If you love to continue, 
and learn more about health and wellness, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the notification bell for future updates just like this one. And because of this challenge, I'll be uploading every day. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And you can follow me on my social media. And there's a link down in the description box. Please be safe, be healthy, and stronger you. Until next time, see you tomorrow for my day six of my beginners phase one Pilates and yoga fusion. Until next time, bye.